Hello and welcome to Always a Friday and today we're going to be drinking some beer in Belgium. We're in Bruges and we're at possibly my favourite bar in Bruges and definitely one of the best, uh, St Jacobs, just off the main square. So we're going to try loads of different beer. Tom, who runs this place, is really knowledgeable about all the stuff. So let's get drinking. Rebecca's gonna have the fruit one. The fruit one? Or well, one? The peach? Peach, peach beer? Yeah. And I'm gonna have your favorite. The whiskey one? The menu. The yeah. whiskey one. It's 10% whiskey aged. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a low percent for Belgium, right? Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Easy going. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. A 10% <laughs> whiskey aged light beer. Whiskey aged? Whiskey aged. Aged on whiskey barrels. Ah, wow. Here you go. And this is your favorite? I like this one very much. <laughs> Wicked. But drink slowly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank Enjoy. you. So I'm looking forward to taste this. I like beer, but I like the different flavors you can have of it as well. And I think they do this peach, raspberry, or cherry. So I had to go for peach. Oh wow, that's dangerous. You can just drink so much of this. Really? Yeah, it's really sweet. Um, but it's also got that kind of kick to it as well that makes it really unique. Nice glass as well, right? Mm. That's, I love that about Belgium as well. They always come in all the individual glasses and what works best with the beer. Honestly, it's so tasty. I could drink like pints of this. <laughs> and I love beer, but I can't drink like too much like volume. Whereas this, yeah, you can just tuck this away. So whereas Rebecca maybe started off quite rightly with a little bit of a lighter beer to ease us into things, I went straight with this 10% beast. of Adrian Brewer. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm probably not. Um, and it's a whiskey oaked, as Tom said, um, Winter Wood 2018. Um, it's whiskey aged in whiskey barrels. And um, yeah, it's only a light 10%, which for Belgium isn't even that much. <laughs> but this was apparently Tom's favorite at the bar, so he must know, know a thing or two, right? Oh wow, that's really good. I'm not a huge fan of like really dark beers, but even though it's 10%, it actually tastes really light. Mmm, like chocolatey undertones and... Wow. Yeah, definitely a beautiful, beautiful beer. I can see why this is his favorite. It's like crazy how like it looks so dark and strong, but it's actually quite light. And you can taste that it's quite a strong beer, of course, but it's um, definitely sit back in a nice comfy chair, slowly sip away with this. Be careful not to drink too much because it is incredibly strong. But um, yeah, cracking first start, and this guy knows his stuff about beer. So we just asked Tom, um, because I said like, wow, this one's so good. And he said it's a winter beer. And apparently it was voted the best winter beer of 2018, which that's a pretty good beer, right? And basically a uh, winter beer is traditionally a bit darker, a little bit heavier, and also, funnily enough, a little bit sweeter. Um, so that's why he said it's a really dangerous beer, because it just goes down so easy. It's just so cool to have like Tom is such a nice guy behind the bar giving you all these like interesting facts about the beer and he really knows like what to get you and stuff like that. It's so cool, especially in Bruges as well. So not only is the beer great and Tom's fantastic as well. If you have to come here just to meet Tom, you must do it. He's amazing. But also the atmosphere, the way it's all laid out, it just feels makes you feel at home straight away and it's just so comfortable. Everyone greets each other. It's like really like family, friends vibe in here and just makes the whole experience even better <laughs> so this has all of the different beers in it and 
they are all brewed from the Roman brewery as well. Um, actually says a little bit about it in here and it's the oldest family brewery in Belgium and its tagline is creating pleasure since 1545. Um, but yeah so we have all of them in here just having a look and see what we fancy as well. Um, there is a wheat beer, is it wheat beer? Nathan loves a wheat beer so maybe one of those now. So I think we're going to go for the wheat beer for me. If you do, do yeah. a wheat beer. And Rebecca's going to have the hanging. And the regular one or the, the wild one? Whatever you suggest. Is it soft or more hoppy? I don't know. Soft is good. Maybe the, the hands. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you said it's just for show? <laughs> no, no, they said to me, this they made like as a decoration, but one guy in Holland started doing it like this, and now it's a big hit. <laughs> Beer. What percent is this one? Which one? This one. Uh, five. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> After the ten, it's maybe a good idea. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. Also, thank you. So we're now on our second round of drinks. This is Strop. Just goes down so well. Um, so Strop actually doesn't mean what I thought it meant. It actually means like a thing around your neck, kind of like a noose, which does explain why it has come <laughs> like this. Um, I feel like Belgian presentation is everything. You know, but um, ridiculous, but amazing at the same time. Now, I'm not going to pretend, I could, but I'm not going to pretend I'm a beer expert. So, I can actually read you about what this is. Supposed. Maybe I've had a few too many beers already, I don't know. So, like I said, they go to your head. Um, so, if I can read this. It's a top fermented blonde Belgian special owl. Re-fermented in the bottle, bottle, bottle to give a deliciously hoppy beer with subtle fruity aroma. That's very true. Um, for a taste of Ghent's proud and noble her heritage. So that's actually Ghent. That's delicious. This is for an hour as well. I would in the UK I would never normally drink that, but here love it. It's so good. And I do I think it's they are soft and smooth and they have that fruity kind of twist to it as well, even if it's really subtle. You can, it makes a big difference, and I think that's why I, I love them so it's much. It's not just a lager. Yeah, exactly, it's not just a lager. Cheers. So the first beer, which was a 10%er, hit me for six a little bit. That's a pretty strong beer. So the second one, I've gone a little bit lighter at a 5% wheat beer. Now I absolutely love a wheat beer. They're one of my favorite beers. Um, I'm a big fan of German wheat beers. So let's see what Belgium has to offer. Yeah, and there's, I mean, that's, that's pretty much as good as it gets, to be honest. Just tasting beer and enjoying beer in such an amazing pub in Bruges in Belgium is like... And making a video about it as well is just like a dream come true. It's so cool. Awesome. Love, love this one. Tom gave us the St. Jacob's card. It says music, 60s, 70s and 80s pop. And the music in here is actually really, really cool. Um, and Volks Café St. Jacob's. Uh, Volks Café actually means like local so it's like a local bar local pub um, which is really cool and then the actual place is called St. Jacobs or Jacobs yeah just love it here we can't recommend this place enough really it really is great so we will leave the address for this place in the description as well so if you're in Bruges definitely come check it out
Your fruit of the day. <laughs> Voila. There we go. Thank you very much. Moving on to our third and final round, and this beer is Enemé. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> Let's try it. Mm. Very delicate. Yeah, well balanced palate with slightly drier accent of hops. <laughs> almost pulled that off. I did read that in the book first, but nevertheless it tastes lovely. It is a bit drier, but it's still got that, you know, that fruitiness, really, really subtle. Um, but yeah, like a little kick to it. I really like the blonde as well. Um, completely different flavour, but yeah, this one's a lot more intense than probably the other ones I've had, a bit stronger. But yeah, it tastes amazing. So the third and final beer that I have is a cherry beer, a Creek Max um, by Jacobins. Um, and Creek apparently is sour cherry, but it, according to Tom, this one's not that sour. Um, let's give it a little taste. I love a cherry beer, so this should be good. Oh. That is amazing. So out of the three, which one is your favourite? So my favourite, surprisingly, I think is the first one. And before we stepped in here, I didn't think I'd be saying that. But the winter beer was like really sweet and like super strong at the same time. But that was probably my favourite. But I love wheat beer, I love cherry beer. They're always going to be up there. But yeah, that first one was really good. As we've mentioned in previous videos wherever we like to travel we really like to sort of educate ourselves on the place and learn about it and this place here has provided the perfect opportunity for that you know we've learned so much about the different beers we've made great friends and all whilst drinking a fantastic beer what more could you want from Belgium it's been the best best experience pretty much brings an end to this video. We've had an amazing time trying all of these beers in Bruges and we'd just like to thank Tom again for creating such an amazing bar, such an awesome atmosphere. We really have loved every minute of it and if you're in Bruges definitely check this place out. So that brings the end to the video. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up below and if you haven't already please subscribe. If you are already a subscriber thank you so much and we hope that you're enjoying this content and as always let's travel together and we will see you in the next one